what is the secret behind some of the Dark Knight's technology? Magnets! Magnets! So magical. It's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Josh. And I'm Kiara. Here with us today, we have the amazing bat computer, Penny One. Greetings. And welcome to Batman Science Lab, where we test the science behind Batman's crime-fighting technology. We've been learning about all of his tech as members of the Night Watch, Penny One's new program, where people get to practice honing their skills and be everyday heroes. So much of Batman's tech uses magnets, like his tracking devices. Or his magnetic battering. Or even the compasses that he uses to navigate his way through Gotham City. Now, magnets have really helped the Cape Crusader in a lot of uh, sticky situations. So today, we're gonna learn what a magnet is, how it works, and how Batman is able to use it to his advantage to help his gadgets become even better. Are you ready to see if we can too? Let's do it! Oh, that's the attitude. All right, so. How does a magnet work? Well, most matter is made up of atoms, and in these atoms have these little things called electrons, and these have a negative electric charge. Now, electrons can move around in all directions, but when most of them move in the same direction, they create something called a magnetic field, and all that is is just an invisible current of energy that can either attract or repel objects with other magnetic fields. Does everything have a magnetic field? Well, everything with atoms has electrons, but some metals have their electrons in the right combination and it makes them naturally magnetic, like uh, iron, nickel, and cobalt. In fact, did you know that there is so much iron in the Earth's core that it makes the planet one giant magnet? Is that how compasses work? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, look, a compass is just a very sensitive magnet. So of course, it's only natural that it's attracted to one of the biggest magnets of all, planet Earth, and more specifically, our North Pole. So why are they all attracted to the North Pole? Well, that's a great question. So magnets are made when most of the electrons move in one direction and that creates a flow, right? And in this flow, it creates two ends that we call poles and these have opposing energy types, all right? And of course, opposites attract. So the north end is attracted to the south end and vice versa. A compass is engineered so that the magnet south pole will point to our Earth's north pole. Who knew magnets were so complicated? It's true, and there's a lot of bat magnets that we haven't quite figured out yet, but Batman has found a way to use it to his advantage. Ready to see if we can too? Let's go! All right. Whoa, batarangs. Right? So we have our very own batarangs and magnets of all sorts of sizes for our little experiment today. Why are there two targets? That is a great question. The silver one, that is our pure metal target. And that just means that its natural magnetic field is super strong. Our blue target is a bunch of mixed metals together. That one's magnetic field is a lot less strong. So what do we do? Okay, so today we're gonna be thinking like Batman. Magnets like these are used in some of his batarangs and tracking devices. And because we know that Batman finds himself in a lot of different situations, he needs to make sure that his magnets are strong enough to stick to all kinds of metal surfaces. So our first experiment, we're gonna see if we can make a batarang just strong enough to stick to both targets, not fall off, and still be able to retrieve them later. Hmm, so I think first we should figure out what one magnet does. Yeah, okay. We're gonna take one magnet, like you said, and can I get you, yeah, get ready to tape it for me. All right, so here we are. We got our one magnet battering. I'm gonna aim for the mixed metal one that is the weaker magnetic field, so we'll see if uh, one magnet can be attracted to it. Let's see. Oh! Ooh. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's try that again. Thank you, Kiara. We're gonna go again. Nope. Oh. Okay, you know what? Okay, I think we should try the full metal one. Yeah, I'm gonna have you do that one. Oh, Let me okay. get you get some tosses in. Okay, let's see. Yeah. One magnet is enough to stick to the full metal. Remember, the full metal has a strong magnetic field, so there's a better chance we'll stick it. Oh, oh you were so okay. close. That was a good high five. <laughs> it's a nice little warm up. Let's try again. Ooh, oh, all right. Okay. So, we might need a little more magnet strength. Yeah. The one is not strong enough. Mm. So, going back to the drawing board to get more magnets. I'm right behind you, let's do it. So, one magnet was not enough for them to stick to the surface. Yeah. Why don't we try tripling up the amount of magnets? That should mean triple the magnetic field. Okay, yeah. Triple magnets means triple strength. I'm game, let's try it. That's a good theory. So, we're gonna get three magnets, and I need your tape job skills because you did it so well last time. Okay, this is the three magnet battering, and I'm going to aim for the blue mixed metal target first. Here we go. Let's see. 
Ooh, Ooh okay. Close. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's do it. I think you got this one. Oh, oh that was okay. a good high five. Okay. We're gonna try the pure metal one. Good. All right, cool. Landed on the pure metal one, great. Not so much love on the mixed metal one. Now, Kiara, let's see if you can take it off. Okay, how did that go? Okay, it was pretty easy to take off. It mm. did have some resistance, though. Okay, not what we're looking for, so I guess that just means more, more magnets. magnets. So let's, let's, uh, let's do five. Five? Sounds great to me. Okay. That's the attitude. Do you think five is gonna work? I think five is gonna be good. I hope five is gonna work. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah. First, I'm going to aim for the mixed metal one. Mixed metal, here we go. Oh, we nailed made it. it! Okay, cool, all right, so stuck to the mixed metal target. That's the first one to do that, that's great. Now, let's see how easy it is to take off. Go ahead. Okay, it was easier to take this one off of the mixed metal than it was to take the three off of the full metal. Okay, that makes sense. So I guess we should try for the pure metal one then. I'm ready when you are. Let's get started. Oh, okay. okay. I like that little flip there. <laughs> okay, so clearly stronger, five magnets stuck on. Now let's see, can you pull it off? Okay. All right, okay, so how did it feel? So it was harder to take this one off of the full metal than it was to take the three off of the full metal, but it still wasn't hard enough. Yeah, you're right, we're gonna have to go more magnets. Let's do it. Hmm. Okay, five was Barely enough. I think we may need a little more. Yeah, it's stuck on, but like a bump in the road on a car, if it's Batman's tracking device, if it's brushed up against something, whew, it's gone in it's the wind. Gone. So let's uh, let's just go a couple more. Let's do seven. Yeah. Seven? Okay, let's do it. Okay, but before we continue, we gotta remind everybody, magnets are pretty strong, so let's never put our hands between two magnets, okay? There you go. Let's make sure we space them out, because we're gonna get a bunch of dancing, see? Dancing magnets. We have seven magnets on this Batarang. Let's Mixed see. metal. We can make it. Let's do it. Whoa! Whoa. First <laughs> was, try. That was with authority. I love that. Okay, so it's stuck. Now, can you pull it off? Let's see. Let's see. This this was pretty good. Okay. Compared good. to the other ones, it wasn't too hard to take off, but it also wasn't that easy. Okay. So good. So we had some resistance, but it was still stuck on. And that's on the mixed metal one. So let's see how we do with the full metal. metal. Oh! First try again! You got it, you got okay. Batman-like accuracy. Okay, clearly we knew this was gonna land. Now, let's take it off. Okay. Oh, okay. That that was pretty good. Fantastic, all right, I think we figured it out. Let's go back, let's discuss it. Let's go. We did it. It took us seven magnets to get the batterings to stick to both targets and not fall off. It wasn't too hard to take it off, but it also wasn't easy. That's right, now I have a question for you, Kiara. Let's say I'm Batman, and I need a magnetic device to climb up the side of a building. Well, it would need to be really strong to be able to support Batman, and he needs to be able to turn him on and off while he's climbing. Now, what if I told you that there is a magnet that you can turn on and off? Really? Yeah, well, kind of. See, there are two types of magnets, okay? You have your temporary magnet and your permanent magnet, and Batman needs both of them in his tech. So, permanent magnets are magnets that are always magnetic, like, this one, for example, see? But temporary magnets are magnets you can control its magnetic field. In fact, this is the most common temporary magnet of all, an electromagnet, and it's made with electricity. Electricity, when broken down, is negatively charged electrons moving in a current or in one direction, and it creates a magnetic field. So, when, do you mind handing me that battery? Thank you. When you run the electric current through the right type of metal, its electrons will align and increase its magnetic field and you will create... A magnet! Yeah! So we're gonna see if we can create our own electric magnet and test it out. This is so exciting. Let's get started. Yes, now, every electromagnet has two important parts. A part to generate an electric current and another part for that current to drive through. So like a battery in a wire. Yes, precisely. Now, this metal rod it's not really magnetic, right? Or its magnetic field is so weak, it doesn't make much of a difference. So we're gonna want the electrical current from the battery to flow around the piece of metal. <laughs> right, and magnetic fields are created in a circular flow. So how do we direct the current around this metal rod? 
What if we wrapped the wire around the metal rod and connected it to one of the batteries? Yes, exactly. And when the battery is connected on both ends, the coil will generate a small magnetic field. So the more coils it has, the stronger it gets. Yes, and we're going to test that out once we build our magnet and see if we can create our own magnetic field that's strong enough to pick up these weights and carry them all the way across the finish line. I we think, got this. Yeah, I think so too. So let's start off. We're going to start off by wrapping that coil around this rod. Kiara, I'm going to need your assistance. Here you go. I'll hold this. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so Kiara did a really good job wrapping this all up. Thank you. We've got it, the coil going. Let's test it out. Let's see if it works. May you hand me a battery, please? Here you go. Thank you so much. I'm going to plug this in now. Let's see if this actually. <gasps> Yay! Ooh, okay, we got a magnet. Now we did our little test, little testing phase. Now let's see if we can lift the weights across the finish line. So we're going to start off nice and easy with the half pound. Okay. All right. I need you to give me kind of the uh, racing countdown. Let me connect. Ready, set, go! And we are off with the slow motion lift and we're moving through. Not gonna lie, it is attached on really nicely. You got However, it. However, if any sudden movement were to happen, I would fear the worst. But here we go. Almost we're there, at the finish there. line. Woo! Woo! You made it. It's still on. Very cool. Nice. All right. Okay. First leg of the race complete. Now. It's time to up the ante, up the stakes, if you will. We did a half pound. Now it's time for one pound bag. Double the weight. That means we gotta be double careful. Here we go. I'm connected, plugged in. You ready? Made contact with the bag. Set it ready? off. Ready? Mm -hmm. Steady. Okay. Go. The pressure is on as he lifts the bag he into the air it. miraculously. That's a one pounder. We're moving through. Will he make it? Will oh he make it? Oh my goodness, the tension is building. The Halfway sweat there. droplets are forming on his forehead. Little movement can knock it off. Can oh, I get no. it to You're the finish there. line? Almost He's there. inching. He's inching. <laughs> He's going. <laughs> ah! He made it. Oh, nice. Right. Two for two. Yeah. Okay. Now, it is time for the ultimate challenge. This is the five pound bag. Ooh. The one pound was pretty challenging. Now we're five times that weight. Can I get a battery, please? Here you go. Yeah, all right. Da, da, da. Okay. I'm ready when you are. Ready. Yep. Steady. Go. Uh -oh. oh, okay. That is not a good sign. Okay, try it again. Here we go. Ready, set, go. And we're off. You we're got off. air. Oh, it's slipping. Oh, oh it's careful. Slipping. Oh, oh, it's moving. It's moving a lot. You can make it. You can make it. Oh! Oh, almost halfway there. Oh, that went a lot farther than I thought it was. Yeah. So we clearly don't have a strong enough magnetic field with this rod. What do you think we should do? I think we need to make the magnetic field stronger. So why don't we try double coiling it? All right, double coil. I like the sound of that. Let's try it. OK, are you ready? OK. Ready, set. Go! That's what I needed. Those are the magic words. I feel like with that, we're going to do it. Okay, here we go. The hand is shaking oh, because I am halfway. so nervous of how this is going to end. Oh. oh, it's a move. It moved, it moved, it moved. Yeah! yeah. We Woo. did it. Woo! That was oh, awesome. Man, it was so touch and go there. Man, yeah. this is an awesome piece of tech. If I'm Batman, I'm going to make sure to keep plenty of these handy. Let me tell you. Speaking of that, mm -hmm. do you think you can use that electromagnet to make my metal water bottle fly over here? <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to try, but I think you're going to need a bigger battery. <laughs> <laughs> OK, magnets are officially the coolest thing ever. Yeah, and they lend a huge component to some of Batman's helpful gadgets. And now you know how he makes them work. And that he needs to make sure he has the right magnets with the right strength for the job. I don't know, Kiara. What do you think? Do you think I'm strong enough to be one of Batman's magnets? I don't know. Why don't we test that next? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Batman Science Lab. Don't forget to stick around for some more amazing Batman content on the DC Kids channel. We'll see you guys next time. All right, Kiara. Magnetizing fist bump. Oh, okay. Pull three, two, one. Ah. Woo.